what is up people what is up okay so more reaction videos today shout out to my man thought spot for keeping them videos coming we have four videos to react to today um including some comedy uh, stand-ups as well a comedy stand-up from joe rogan so uh, that should be fun i have seen a joe rogan stand-up before i don't think this is the one that i've seen however it might be i'm not sure i don't think so but anyway i've seen some joe rogan before he's a pretty funny dude and I remember way back in the day in a TV series called uh, News Radio for them old school cats out there. Remember Joe Rogan from News Radio? That was a good show. Didn't run, didn't last very long, but it was a pretty good show when it was on. Anyway, uh, we've got four today. So let's start with this one. It is the Joe Rogan one. It's called Joe Rogan Got Jokes on Brock Lesnar. So what's Joe Rogan got to say about Brock Lesnar? Okay, let me pause this. Uh, enlarge. Start again. Here we go. All right, what's Joe Rogan got to say about Brock Lesnar, my client, Brock Lesnar? I don't know, Joe Rogan, he kind of looks like Paul Heyman a little bit, actually. Just a little bit, maybe not entirely, or maybe I'm just imagining it wrong. But I don't know, in this frame right here, it's kind of a slight resemblance. Maybe it was a bit shorter, you know, had more of a, a ponytail going on, you know. Actually, I don't think he looks anything like uh, Paul Heyman, actually. Never mind. Never mind. Anyway, what's Joe Rogan got to say about Brock Lesnar? Let's see. This is certain realities, man. We are talking to a guy like Brock Lesnar, and he's standing over you. There's at least 1% of your brain that's going, please don't fuck me. Please. <laughs> I'm not really worried that Brock Lesnar would fuck me. What I'm really worried is that he would use me <laughs> as a to fuck something way bigger. Yeah, Brock Lesnar is a big dude. I've never, well, I've never met Brock Lesnar. Maybe I shouldn't comment too much on that. But from what I've seen of him, um, he, he looks like a pretty big dude. And he's quite uh, quite athletic and uh, agile. I think that's the right word. Agile for his size as well. Um, even now, like, he's like 38, 39, something like that. You know, he's not an old man, I know. But he's um, old uh, than, you know, some some say wrestlers are just maybe starting out and stuff like that. So he's been around a while. But, yeah, he's still in good shape, still in good uh, body condition. So um, <laughs> I think um, what, what Joe Roker was saying, probably not too far from the truth. If Brock made that decision, I don't know if there's too much you can do about it. It's, it's, it's a shame. It's not right. Certainly do not endorse that kind of behavior. But, you know, if Brock was like, hey, I'm going to do that. You know, there's not much you can stop. Uh, much you can choose to stop him. <laughs> so, uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, <laughs> all right. So where are we at? Where are we at now? So the next one. This is called "Anger Is Not the Way of the Jedi." All right. So let's see what this is about. Oh, he fell over. That's a shame. <laughs> Hey, that's not the way the Jedi. That looked pretty cool, though. That looked pretty cool. I like the um, what they did with the uh, colors on the on the background. That looked pretty cool. Uh, I don't know how they did it. My editing skills ain't, ain't on that level, but it did look pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, shout out to uh, was that Insect Collective? Is that right? Insect Collective. Uh, that was a pretty cool video. Pretty cool video. I like that. Hey, that's not, I mean, shame you fell over. I mean, that's, I hope you didn't hurt yourself too badly. But uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Anger is not the way of the Jedi. Neither is falling over. But actually, no, no, to be fair. Um, actually, yeah, no, Jedi, Jedi do definitely fall over. But I think I think they do get angry, actually, as well. They do get angry. I was like, oh. I mean, I won't, I won't include Anakin in that because An Anakin, yeah, he started off as a Jedi, but then he did kind of, you know, move over to the dark side. And that was very, very clear in the story. But in terms of, like, Jedi who just been Jedi. They have, I'm pretty sure they've got an anger. I don't know. I can't really think of an example right now, but I just seem to have a memory at some point, some Jedi getting, maybe not like super angry, but yeah, I think I think a Jedi has gotten like a little, at least a little bit pissed off. Maybe not angry, but they've certainly got a little bit pissed off or maybe ticked off. Like I think Yoda's gotten a few, uh, gotten a little bit ticked off at times. And um, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. I think there's at least a few times where he's been like, you know, at least a few times, so maybe not angry, but certainly, um, certainly getting ticked off is the way of the Jedi. I think I'm pretty sure that's happened at least a few times. I haven't read all the extended comics and universe and stuff, so uh, I don't know what's in there, but I wouldn't be surprised if there's been at least a couple of Jedi who's been mad pissed off at times and be like, "What the fuck?" and then fell over. <laughs> 
All right, so this next one is called uh, the Boondocks. Called? The Boondocks. You got kicked in your chest. Okay, so I guess it's from the Boondocks, and it's called You Got Kicked in Your Chest. Right? Okay. Some people are scared of zombies or vampires, but the thing that scared black people the most are niggas. I think I might have seen this before, actually. You think a moment can happen to any black man at any time. <laughs> yeah, the nigger in you comes out. <laughs> what did you say, nigger? Yeah, everyone's got a little nigger inside him. <laughs> That's the thing, though. Like, when things, um, like, get you to that, that point, like, you, you, the ghetto can come out. It don't matter who you are. It don't matter who you are, you know, but that ghetto side of you can come out. It don't matter if you were raised in the poshest of neighborhoods or whatever it is you know what i mean it don't matter if you've never even experienced anything like that in your life like that when the things that like, get you pissed off that that little ghetto side of you just comes out and like boy <laughs> that's 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 not too far from the truth that's not too far from the truth the last one yeah the last one is called wendy's training video cold drinks okay let's see what this is about This is very 80s, maybe early 90s. In fact, I'm saying more 90s and 80s, come to think of it. This is more 90s and 80s, definitely more 90s. Yeah, right on. <laughs> you know, what? that's, that's uh, a lot better than a lot of the mumble rap going on these days, not even a joke not even a joke that's pretty cool though you don't really i guess you do get some stuff like that these days maybe um not not like that i don't know i don't really watch a lot of tv so perhaps i shouldn't say too much but i don't i don't personally see too much of these sorts of things i know virgin did uh like a dance video for their um airplane safety uh thing a while a while back um but yeah, yeah. i don't know if there's too many other people doing stuff like that but that's pretty cool i liked actually you know just uh a nice fun way of presenting how to serve cold drinks why not if it works it works doesn't make me want to go to wendy's but if you know if it, if it helps me serve drinks better then cool all f i'm all for it you know um but yeah that's pretty cool pretty cool maybe they should release uh, a single the cold drinks rap on perhaps it's even it didn't do that already i don't know um but anyway anyway um that was the last video that is the well i guess the end of this video pretty much um so yeah that that is pretty that, that i've got yeah I'm done um guys let me know what you think of the videos we just watched uh let me know what you think of this video and if you like this video give it a like and share it amongst your friends if you did not like it then give it a dislike and share it amongst your enemies you can check out more videos over here comedy channel over there subscribe and follow me around the web over there all links in the description but that is all for now so thank you for watching and until whenever if ever cold drinks to the top that's when you should stop <laughs>